Hey, people, what's up? What's up? A lot of things are up, actually. This video, hopefully, by the time you're watching it, otherwise it will be real strange. Um, hmm, it wouldn't be possible. F changes! Uh, some will be visible as I pa press the P button. Um, I've got a microphone hooked up to a mixer now with a line out, so audio goes straight into there, making it ideal for me, the lazy, lazy video editor. So no more editing, synchronizing of audio streams, just videos straight up to YouTube, which is right up my alley actually, that's quite nice. No more time wasted, spent doing that sort of stuff. That will probably mean the mixing isn't great. And look, 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 pedals. Up on. Enormous request. Literally two or three people have said this. Do some pedal bars. So you can see woo, all the pedals. I hope, no guarantees, to do more videos. Because the setup is now so easy. Press a button and upload the result to YouTube. Even I can do that. Even I can cut the track. So yeah, I spent minutes, minutes for you guys, making these pedal graphs there. If I do more of these videos, then uh, often they will be with not the final physics or just some of my own work. That continues on. I've talked about the RISA physics workflow in uh, previous videos. But even if the car is sort of done, if I have an idea or just want to have some fun, I'll probably make some, some adjustments myself. And the reason I'm going to Imola because it's such a nice place. I really like how we, uh, how we did that actually, Alex knows how to make tracks. And the Boxer Cup with helper springs. Now, in a previous video that isn't uploaded, I was trying to explain them. But my driving suffered so bad that will uh, might have to become a separate video. So just assume when I say helper springs do help. over curbs and general stability as he doesn't have any stability so they do help but explaining it would go uh, bad with the driving so this is the first video just testing the new equipment see how it goes I do actually like if the audio is loud I don't mind that too much for uh, well some might say sad reasons I kind of like having to speak up. I'm not doing that too loud at the moment. But in order to get the atmosphere of simulation as if I'm really in the car. I know I'm not really in the car. I know it's a game even though we call it a sim. Okay, it's a sim but that's still a game, alright? But the idea of having loud audio and having to sort of raise my voice a little bit. I think it do adds to the immersion. Unlike some gaming sort of commentary where you can have a super calm voice which actually I, I think I have now a fairly calm voice with background game audio I want that game audio to be fairly loud and my voice being reasonably loud to uh, go over the top of it and probably mixed badly in my new equipment which I don't know how to use yet anyway
I love this uh, combination so much. The new balance with the aerodynamic improvements and the result that has had on the chassis balance which is a lot less understeery because the oh the arrow is less oversteery it just brings this car to life and i haven't enjoyed a gt car as much ever so ideal car to uh, to do some laps in So much more stable over the curbs, and with the more oversteery chassis setup and a brake bias setup just right, you really get four wheels on the edge of lockup at the same time. And when you get that right, that's an incredibly satisfying feeling. And it goes on the power so well. And those little slides, like... Super. I've also been having force feedback issues for years, literally. I think I found the, the cause. So, Ooh, just making it. For the first time in ages, I drive without sand in the steering rack. That's how it felt. It's beautifully smooth. So now all that's left is for my driving to become beautifully smooth, but. Apparently you're never too old to learn, so we'll try. Lovely neutral exiting the corners. Not sure about probably do fourth gear. Breaking into that corner is quite tricky. Late, did lock up a bit.
this one. Just have to be a little more patient. Slower in. Made up some time, not so bad. Oh, that's... Three helper spring racing line there. too late. I made it but slowed down a bit too much. Starting to miss some apexes now. I'm not too unhappy as the plan was to do some reasonable laps instead of to just screaming and making a fool of myself. Basically there wasn't cheap cheating or cutting. You cut down on the talking, the driving does actually improve a little bit. Good to know. Oh, that's late. That's late, that's late, that's late. That's late, that's late. 
messy. It's all going wrong again. Split times don't lie, folks. They don't lie. It's such a nice car to drive, though. How the turn-in really happens as you get off the brake. This car is equipped with uh, steer by pedals. Cleared by slow idiot. No. Oh. Such a great corner where you have to get off the brake in order to make it. Oh, this is the final lap for the camera. No pressure. Oh no, I can do one more lap. Yee! Let's try that. That's a bad line, that cost me time. Yes, 44.9. Pretty good. Habits came back there. If this is quicker than uh, Timo Glock does, then it's probably remember when you see this video, it's a good chance these are not the final physics, my own works, messing about, learning, failing, that sort of general practice. Cheating, you could call it, but hey. So I hope uh, the technology somewhat works. I just upload this file to YouTube and be done with it. That's a nice prospect, and uh, I hope you like the pedal bars and that you don't mind occasionally seeing a bit less foolishness and hearing a bit less foolishness so that it looks more like real driving let's end with a gigantic stair and drive and I will break oh it's hard it's hard driving with this it's real hard thanks for
So, yeah. I mean... I figured 